Here's a subject, fellas. I, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I am going to bring it up before we get to the power subject. Um, Larry brought this to my attention, and I saw a YouTuber that I follow talk about this same issue, Larry, where the bum-ass politician from North Carolina, my state, who just squeaked out a win over the other guy who got caught texting a bimbo, his ass married, and ruined it for us, Tom Tillis. He wrote legislation that is supposedly, now keep in mind, I said supposedly, in the um, coronavirus bill to fight piracy, not from people watching it, but from the major um, organizations and businesses that are pushing it. But what he didn't put in here that the YouTuber found out was he also want in the same bill that if you are a YouTuber and you use a trailer like what I just did, He's trying to give YouTube the authority to strike you three times. And if you get struck, they can put a felony, they can bring charges against you, felony charges against you, the YouTuber, for just using the trailer. That's craziness. Now, first of all, the reason why, the biggest issue that I have with this bull job, why are we putting pork into the coronavirus stimulus bill in the first place? Like, yeah. I, I'm fine if you want to go after that stuff. I'm fine with that. But why is it in this bill? There should be nothing in this bill except for money for the people that need it, money for small business, and money for the states and municipalities that need to fund their states and cities. Because at the end of the day, Larry, the Republicans claim that they didn't want to vote Democrat because of defund the police. Well, you know who's trying to defund the police? Mitch McConnell, by not wanting to give these states and municipalities the money they need because it's right. not just Democrat states and cities that need money. Republicans do too. And some of that money goes to the damn police department. So who's really defunding the police? But I said yeah. all that to say this, this bill to quote unquote end piracy is not going to do anything. First of all, right. President Trump said he's not signing it unless people get $2,000 checks. I'm not going to get on that tangent about what is the root cause of President Trump trying to sow chaos. So I'm going to stick to the issue. T-Streams, is this legislation, if it does get passed, is it going to fix the problem? Absolutely not, man. No. And that that was that was part of the issue when 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 we first talked earlier today and uh i told you man it's just one of them days i was actually going through some stuff as i have certain interest in some of this stuff and it is this whole man this whole deal is just garbage to me you know uh that's to me personally i do i do think that people should get you know there are people out here hurting and you know but they took it I, I think the lobbyists win on this one. I think uh, just because, you know, just because of the whole COVID pandemic stuff that they, uh, you know, that they squoze all this extra stuff in to umbrella it or blanket it and push it through. But the bill as itself is is a bunch of garbage. garbage. And, um, I don't, I, I don't see, you saw what I put on Facebook yesterday. I, you know, I don't see how, you know, how they can actually get away with it, you know. If you have certain, if you have certain issues that that you want to that you want to do, create a bill specifically for that. It's plain and simple. There's no way in the world that you should have a bill that's over five hundred and five thousand three hundred pages or whatever it was that can't nobody realistically read and dissect. Uh, in the amount of time that's needed uh, to to get a clear understanding to push it on further, you know, can't nobody can't nobody do nothing with that. Can't nobody really even do anything with that. So they just pushing a bunch of bull crap and then going to try to give everybody a few dollars. Trump says add, add this and then we'll push it through. And it, this right here is a mess. Our grandkids is is still our grandkids is going to be paying for the last one. They kids are probably <laughs> for this one, and uh, it's just 
it, you know, it's just it's bullshit, really. Mm -hmm. So on you, Larry. Yeah, I mean, the, the interesting thing about it is it may it may deter some Americans from dealing with piracy as far as selling, you know, selling content or running services that 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 stream the content. But a lot of these services are not originating in the U.S. anyways. I mean, you go online and exactly. you pay for an IPTV service or you download an app and the stuff isn't it's not. It's not from the, it's not running from the U.S. anyways. You know, it's it's some people that are in Micronesia or or you know the yeah. Middle East somewhere or Russia or or Thailand or China or whatever else. You We're know, Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had I had some Chinese folks a while back, you know, send me a, um, an Android TV box to review, and one of the things about the TV box was it comes with lifetime IPTV. No, I didn't review the service on you. I didn't review the, the service that came with it on, on YouTube. I just reviewed the box. But what are you going to do with some Chinese companies selling that stuff? I mean, what are you going to do? You're just going to say, okay, we're going to file charges against them? So what? They're in Absolutely. China. Right. China Absolutely. doesn't extradite their citizens of the U.S. to go to stand to file for a, to stand trial for a, or face charges for, for copyright, you know, uh, of violations. I mean... It, it, it seems it's I think it's rather toothless. I think it's going to it's going to hurt Americans more than anybody else. But it sounds to me like some it sounds to me like the MPAA and and some of the Hollywood lobbyists, they they went and shoveled some money towards these politicians to get something right. done. And right. I mean, the, the reality of it is, if you make content more available to people at an affordable price, people won't pirate it. That's just what it is. People are not, I don't I don't hear about anybody pirating music much anymore. Nope. Like maybe they do. I don't hear about it because you can now go on Apple Music and Spotify and Amazon, you know, music, all these other things. You can go for I saw a thing today saying you can get Spotify if you're a student for $4.99 a month, you know, and you can get Apple Music for $4.99 a month, and that and that comes with the Apple Plus uh TV service. Now, why would you risk getting in trouble? Why would you even want to bother with all the hassle of having to search, find, and download music for free when for five bucks a month or $60 a year, you can get every song known to man, basically? Or you, know? you, can, or you can do YouTube music. YouTube music gives it to you commercial free. You get the videos and you can download it as much as you want for $4.99 a month. Simple as right. that. You know, so it, but the problem here is, Larry, there's just too much money involved with streaming content with TV shows and networks that they can't get the price down. I read a report just yesterday about now all the streaming apparatuses, your YouTube TVs, your Hulus, all these things, Larry, they're going in the wrong direction. They're yeah. going in the price direction of what cable used to be. And right. then if you start getting YouTube TV and then you get like, you know, Disney Plus or you get HBO Max, you're beyond what cable cost it. And so right. that's why people are just go get the cinema, cinema HD app or um, Cyber Flicks and they'll get one of these services and then you don't need to be paying for it until right. they solve the problem of getting these services cheaper and without commercials. Because one thing that irks my nerves, you pay for cable and then you still see commercials. You pay for a pay-per-view nowadays and pay-per-views got commercials in them. Absolutely. You got to fix those problems, ladies and gentlemen. And until you fix that, piracy is not going anywhere. It's right. here to stay. This, this, this bill definitely is not going to do that. And I, no. I, I think this... I just I just shared this with some guys in my circle not too long ago uh, because everybody's sort of frantic on what they what they need to do and what they want to do. And I'm like, look here, man. Several years ago, they did the same thing for the for the bootleg DVD guys. All right. They they wanted they wanted to stop it. They wanted to they wanted to come up with a way that was going to haunt it. I go out, go to Family Dollar, the DVD man. 
still ask me every time I walk in there, I got them 315, I got them 315. Uh, you know, they, it's, it's not, it's not going to stop anything. So I, I think what they, they, they put this together, they put that particular portion of the bill together because they were pressured by lobbyists, by, I, not that, 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 when I started stuttering, they were, they were uh, <laughs> by lobbyists to do something. And I think this is that something that they can come up with, but enforcing it, sending task force to to hunt service. Now, I don't. I honestly don't think it's going to get that far. Uh, I think the the bill is the, the bill is if they they pass it, it'll, it'll pass. It'll become law, and it'll probably have the same effect as the 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 portion that they did for the DVD guys 10, 15 years ago. I, I just don't, you know, I think it was, I think it's just a waste of time because man, streaming at this point, we too far in the game. The whole world is streaming something. Whether you yeah. stream it on Match TV or whether you stream in the do a video chat, whether you doing this, having business meetings or something, there is streaming is it's it has an eternal soul now. It's it is not going nowhere. Nope. No. It's part it's part of the mainstream. And all this, all that's gonna happen is if they really keep trying to push it too far. I mean, for one, you just have people outside the U.S. that are just gonna do it. But also, you'll just have people that are gonna say, "Okay, well, no, you can't pay with your credit card unless your credit card actually deals with like you know some sort of cryptocurrency or something." They're just gonna it's gonna be do that. Mm -hmm. People are gonna use decentralized methods of, of you know of getting the content out there. It's just. I mean, the the they're always there's always going to be people that are one step of, uh, ahead yeah. with the technology, and and instead of what the, instead of trying to to force people into these ridiculous positions of having to pay these absorbent prices, what they should do is figure that if we can just get more people to pay lower prices, we will do much better. And that is what the music industry eventually started doing was they figured we can keep trying to charge people twenty dollars for a CD or $18 for a CD, or we can get out with the whole streaming game and we can lower the prices as such that we will get way more customers in there. And, and now instead of having somebody paying, you know, 15 or $18 for a, a whole album, now we get them in there paying $2.99 for one song, or we mm -hmm. get them in there and they, you know, and they pay for, for, $5 or $10 or $14 for a whole family a month to stream music. And, and they're making more money than ever, and right. you know, right? And I, I, I you, agree I mean, with that. The, I mean, the mute, the movie and TV industry just needs to get down with the same program. I mean, because up, I mean, people only have so much money; they're not going to, and people, people are not going to keep on subscribing to HBO Max and Netflix and Amazon Prime and Peacock and Disney Plus and Hulu and and whatever else they're not going to keep the subscribing to to five or six different services they're going to pick one or two and they're going to bootleg the rest mm -hmm. <laughs> and and um i i would imagine we have some people i ain't going to say no names that are streaming at this minute somewhere in the world who's probably doing that little mismatch of services because they're like, man, the hell on that. I'm not paying all that money for all that stuff when it's right. readily available. And if and if you really want to solve these issues, it's like Larry and T Strings both are saying, you have got to give the consumer, the greater majority of consumers in this country, a reasonable rate to right. get the content they want. And right. at first, when the streaming boom hit around 2014, everybody was jumping on Cody. Everybody was jumping on um, some of your free apparatuses that was coming out then because it really didn't cost you a lot of money. You know, Hulu was like five dollars. Um, Sling, which is still the cheapest one of all the legit services, was nineteen ninety nine, and it's still that same price. But right. everybody else, YouTube, TV, and Hulu, they're up there like fifty five dollars. Nobody's trying to pay that. Because yeah, I mean, why why are you going to YouTube TV and charging? I mean, why are they charging people fifty some, sixty some dollars? You know, and then they and then they turn around and say, "Oh, well, we have to pay this because of the licensing fees from from the networks." Well, why not flex your like your YouTube, your Google, right. mm -hmm. your Alphabet, flex mm -hmm. those muscles and simply say, "Oh, you're going to cut us a better deal on the on the licensing fees." Or we won't allow any of your content on YouTube. 
period. Hey, Larry, we just won't allow it. Genius. Genius. But you know what the That's problem it. with that is? The problem with that is Google and YouTube are greedy because <laughs> they still want them coins that they get from the people that you just mentioned. But if YouTube really wanted to, they could push the envelope and get things done if they wanted to do that. 